Hello, Superstar Scholars. Today we're going to be doing our lesson on the diameter chord theorem. I know you're really excited, so let's just get into it. In a circle, a diameter perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. That's what our theorem is. A diameter perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. Now, let's look at this word right here, bisect. What's that mean again? That's right, to cut in half. So let's take a look at a visual. That, that might help us out a little bit. If CD is a diameter and AB is a chord and they create and they are perpendicular creating 90 degree angles, well then I know that this segment AE is going to be congruent to EB because CD has bisected it. What's that mean in practice? Well, if I knew that AE was 5, then I know EB would also be 5 because CD cut it in half. Another way to look at that, let's say I told you that AB was equal to 12. And then I said, what is the length of line segment AE? Well, if the whole thing is 12, if I know this whole thing is 12, and I just want to know what this part is right here, well, since I know this is bisected or cut in half, all I'd have to do is cut 12 in half, and that would tell me 6. So AE would be 6. And that is the theorem. Now, before we go on, I just want to give you a little bit um, more information about this. Another thing we can figure out is this. If I knew the opposite was true, let's say I knew that CD and A was a diameter and AB was a chord, and I knew that CD bisected it. So if I knew that it bisected it, cut it in half, the converse or the opposite of that would be then, then I would know that these were 90 degree angles. Just a little piece of information. I thought you should know that. Anyway, let's take a look at some problems. Well, this first one is, in the accompanying diagram of circle O, diameter AB, which is this guy right here, ooh, that was nice, is perpendicular to CD. So I know that chord CD is perpendicular to my diameter AB. I also know that CD, this whole thing is 14. Find CE. CE is this line right here, just this part of it right here. Well, how would I do that? Well, just like before, if I know the whole thing is 14, if CD is equal to 14, if CD equals 14, and I'm just looking for this part right here, since it's bisected, I know it's just cut in half. So CE would just be equal to 14 cut in half or divided by 2, which equals seven. And that would be my answer. Boom. Easy. But we're not done yet. So let's take a look at some more challenging problems. Um, give me one soon. Okay, so this is a little more of a challenging problem, okay? Let's take a look at this and I'll, we'll work through it together. In the diagram below of circle O, radius OC is equal to five. So I know the radius is five. That's one good piece of information. I'm going to underline that. I like underlining important information. Chord AB is 8 centimeters and is perpendicular to OC. So I know that these are perpendicular. What is the length of OP in, in centimeters? So OP is this right here. I want to find this at the end of the day. I want to figure that out. Well, that's a little hard because there's not much to work with here because this is what I do know. I know AB is 8. AB is 8 and it's perpendicular to OC. Now what we just learned is that if this is perpendicular, if this radius or diameter is perpendicular to AB, then it bisects AB. So it cut AB in half, meaning this part is equal to this part. And if I know AB, the whole thing, is equal to 8, well then I know each one of these parts are going to be equal to 4. So let's just put this equal. I just cut them in half, right? Because it cuts it directly in half. So this is 4. AP is 4. And I know PB is also equal to 4. These lines. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me much because I'm looking for OP. 
Well, I know the whole radius is 5 if I did the whole thing, but that doesn't help me else either. So how am I going to figure this out? And this is where you can get a little creative. Check it out. Now, right here, I can draw a line, right? And since it's from the center to the circumference, this line would be called a, that's right, it'd be a radius. I could also do that here, same thing. Now, the interesting thing here is it tells us the radius, OC, is equal to 5. So I could say that this line, AO, is equal to 5. So I have AP, which is equal to 4, and I have AO, which is equal to 5. I'm trying to find OP. Now, I hope you're thinking about how can we find this line right here. Hmm, well I have a 90 degree triangle and I have two sides. What am I going to use? Oh, that's right, the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That will help me find the third side of a right triangle. Now the only challenge here is finding out where do I plug everything is. And remember, the c is always the hypotenuse. And so I have to figure out, do I have my hypotenuse? Where is the hypotenuse? Well, it's always opposite the 90 degree angle. And this is the 90 degree angle, and if I go across, it's right here. So 90 degrees here, so my hypotenuse is 5. So if I'm going to plug this in, I know that A is equal to 4 squared plus B squared, I don't know that, equals my hypotenuse squared. Well, and then I just solve. 16 plus B squared equals 25. I'm just squaring the numbers. To solve for b, I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. Whoop! That's out. I bring down my b squared, and I subtract 25 from 16, which gives me 9. Final step. That's right. I take the square root. So b is equal to the square root of 9 is 3. So how does that help me? Well, my third side happens to be op. So if they're looking for OP in this, I know that my answer is 3. And that's all. Just to go over this again, remember, we had to be a little creative. We had to draw this radius right here, and it told us that the radius was 5, and we used that for the plug into the Pythagorean theorem. All right, let's look at one more. In the diagram below of circle O, diameter AB is perpendicular to chord CD. So what do I know? Then I know that these are bisected, so CE is equal to ED, right? Because if AB is perpendicular, it bisects it. If AO is equal to 10, let's write that in, this part right here is equal to 10, and BE is equal to 4, right here, that's 4, I want to find out the length of CE. Once again, we got to get a little bit creative here. Whoa, how are we going to find CE? Well, luckily, I'm going to let you know. Uh, where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? All right, here's where we're going to start. The way we're going to solve for CE is, once again, we're going to do that thing where we draw a triangle. So I'm going to draw a, tr a radius line from here, the center to here. And now I have myself a triangle right here. Right? So I would, I've drawn myself a little triangle thing is now I have to start following, filling in some stuff and this is where it gets a little tricky. Well here's the interesting thing. If you look at this, AO is a radius of 10 and CO is also a radius so this is also going to be 10 because we know that all radiuses are equal. Now BE is 4. Is there a way we could figure out what EO is? This remaining part? Well, if I know our radius is 10 and this part is 4, this remaining part is going to be 10 minus 4. It's going to be 6. So this is going to be 6. Well, now, once again, I have a right triangle. I'm trying to find the third side, which is CE. How am I going to do that? Well, I just plug into the Pythagorean theorem. So I get A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Where's my hypotenuse? Always opposite the 90 degree angle, so that's 10. So we can plug 10 in for c squared. Our a is unknown. Our b is 6. 
So it's going to be a squared plus 6 squared equals 10 squared. Let's just do the math. a squared plus 36 equals 100. To solve for a, we're going to subtract 36 from both sides. Boom. Cancel. a squared is equal to 64. We take this square root and we get a is equal to 8. Well, a, once again, remember, is just what CE is. Because that's what the question's asking. What is CE? So we could just say that CE is equal to 8. Done and done. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And that is it. Now remember, kids, respect adults, be good people, and always, always take a shower once a day. Okay, see you guys.